Hi everyone. In this exercise, we will practice calculating the amount of tax to be withheld from each employee's gross wages, we'll calculate their net paychecks, and we'll write the related journal entries. This video is a continuation of the payroll exercise we began in video lecture 9-6. We will use the same worksheets that you started in that lecture. If you don't have those worksheets, please download them and print them or download the Excel workbook. Then watch the previous Chapter 9 payroll videos so you can catch up and be able to follow along and practice with this video. For purposes of this class, employees are responsible for paying federal income tax, usually found on payroll withholding tables, FICA Social Security tax, 6.2% of all gross wages up to a wage base, 128400 in this problem. Medicare taxes, 1.45% on all gross wages. And state income tax, usually found on withholding tables. Rather than dragging in withholding tables, I have set the problem so that FITW, Federal Income Tax Withholding, should be calculated at 15% of the employee's gross, and SITW, State Income Tax Withholding, should be calculated at 5% of gross. I have duplicated the schedule that we prepared in the prior uh, lecture here for you. Megan earned $1,500 of gross salary for the month of October. The full $1,500 is subject to Social Security wages uh, tax and Medicare tax. Only 1100 of her wages are subject to food and suited tax. For Sam Levitz and George Arts, Sam's full $2,500 of salary for the month of October is subject to Social Security tax and Medicare tax. None of his wages are subject to FUDA and SUDA because he had already exceeded the $7,000 wage base before we got to October. For George Arts, $4,700 of his $5,500 of uh, salary for the month of October is subject to Social Security tax. The full $5,500 is subject to Medicare tax and again None of his wages are subject to FUDA SUDA tax this month because he had already exceeded the $7,000 wage base. Our job is to show the gross wages for each employee for the month and total it across. Calculate the federal income tax to be withheld from each employee and total that across. Calculate the Social Security tax charged on each employee's wages. Calculate the Medicare tax. Calculate the state income tax. Total up their withholdings. And gross wages minus total withholdings will equal the net paycheck. Then we will write the journal entries subject to, uh, and we will assume that the salaries will be paid on November 2nd. So instead of crediting cash, we're going to credit salaries payable. So let's get this done. So to get you started off, I have shown you that the gross wages for Smith for the month of October are $1,500. Gross wages for Levitz are $2,500. And gross wages for George Arts are 5500 Why don't you go ahead and calculate the total withholding and the net paycheck for Megan Smith. Don't do Levitz or Arch yet, but do Megan Smith. Pause the video, do those calculations, come back and start the video again when you want to check your work. So let's carefully go through Megan Smith's calculations. 
Her gross wage is for the month of October $1,500. Federal income tax, I've told you to calculate it at 15%, so $1,500 times 15% is $225. All of her wages are subject to Social Security tax. Therefore, the Social Security tax is $1,500 times 6.2%. And all of her wages are subject to Medicare tax. So $1,500 times 1.45%. And then I've asked you to calculate state income tax as 5% of gross. 1,500 times 5% 5 is $75. I added up all of these withholdings and found that we needed to withhold from her gross $414.75. Therefore, her net paycheck is $1,500 minus the total withholdings, or $1,085.25. Please go ahead and do the same calculations for Levitt's and Arts. I want to warn you to be very careful with Arts, though, because he is not subject to Social Security tax on the full $5,500. Remember, we calculated that only $4,700 of his salary in October is subject to Social Security tax. When you finish everyone going down and calculated their net payroll, then go ahead and add across as well. Finish that up. Then click on the video to start it again and check your work. When you finish your calculations, you should have calculated net paychecks for Levitt's at $1,808.75, George Arts $4,028.85, and that's because the Social Security tax that must be withheld from his salary is not 5,500 times 6.2 percent, but $4,700 times 6.2 percent. That means for all three employees, we have $9,500 in gross salary. These payroll tax liabilities, because we took the money away from our employees and are responsible for paying that over the government later, and the net payroll checks are going to be 692285. So the journal entry kind of falls out from here. Debit salaries or wages expense, 9500 Credit federal income taxes payable. Credit Social Security taxes payable. Credit FICA Medicare taxes payable. Credit state income taxes payable and credit salaries payable. Go ahead and write that journal entry and come back and check your work. So debit salaries expense or wages expense or salaries and wages expense, 9,500 the gross wage. Credit federal income tax withheld payable. Credit FICA Social Security taxes payable, 539.40. Credit FICA Medicare taxes payable, 137.75. Credit SITW State Income Tax Withheld payable, 475. And credit salaries payable, wages payable, or salaries and wages payable for the net check, 692.285. Now, just for a lark, let's go ahead and have you write the journal entry. I want you to think about it a little bit. Write the journal entry when we actually write the paychecks to our employees for this amount of money. Don't write three separate ones. Just assume it's one paycheck, even though, of course, there would be three separate paychecks. But just one journal entry for the total. Uh, go ahead and write that. Then click on the video and check your work. So did you debit salaries and wages payable to relieve this liability, 692285, and credit cash, 692285? 
That's it for the payroll liabilities series of videos. We will have one more video for Chapter 9 where we're going to tie up a few loose ends and talk about the ratios for Chapter 9. don't think we talked about the ratio for Chapter 8 or 7, so we'll talk about those ratios as well. See you next time.